it's kind of quiet here this evening. So let's see if we can warm up this place. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. No, comrades. I know Debenites can do better than this. We want you, our, our comrades in Gaza, our brothers and sisters, to hear you. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. My boo, yeah. The Palestine. My boo, yeah. My boo, yeah. Viva Hamas, viva! Viva Hamas, viva! Viva the Palestinian resistance, viva! Viva the Palestinian resistance, viva! Viva Palestinian resistance, viva! Amanza! Away to! Thank you, comrades. That's how I know Devon to be. To my respected elders, our mothers and fathers gathered here this evening, sisters and brothers, comrades and friends, our distinguished guests, members of parliament, my colleagues, dear listeners and the audience of Salam Media, to our participants, Dr. Gilbert, all our stallholders that have kept us going since the start of this afternoon, and all that are gathered here this evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And may the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with you all. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have made effort to participate in these fundraising activities with the food stuff and all that has been sold here in order for us to be able to raise funds. Sabotage, I can see. Amanda, thank you, comrades. We are here to ensure, comrades and friends, that this evening and the days to come, while Dr. Gilbert is on tour in South Africa, we are able to raise 
funds for the Gaza medical care in collaboration with Salam Media. I also want to take this opportunity to express my, my appreciation to the Caring Sisters Network, the Islamic Medical Association, Beitul Nur, the Neb North Beach Women's Volunteers, and the Indian Cultural Group. Comrades and friends, we live in difficult times in which people struggle to make a difference beyond their personal sphere of influence. You have responded this evening to the plight of our Palestinian brothers and sisters in Gaza and all over occupied Palestine who find themselves cut off from anything and everything. This whilst nearly six weeks of war crimes, ethnic cleansing, genocide in Gaza, and the losses are mounting. Events such as this provide us a barometer of the readiness and willingness of our community to move from just protest action to engage in concrete and constructive support to the resistance and to end and to bring about the need for humanitarian intervention in Gaza and all over occupied Palestine. I want to therefore take this opportunity to applaud all of you for your contribution, big or small. South Africans are known for their generosity and I appeal therefore to all of you to support this fundraising effort. The Palestinian struggle is very close to our hearts and it is indeed heartening to see the huge support that this event is attracting. Allow me to use this opportunity to send condolences to South African heroes of Gift of the Givers for their tragic loss of the head of operations in Gaza Ahmed Abbasi. May Allah accept his martyrdom and grant sub to his family in these difficult times. We send our condolences to all in the healthcare and aid workers, many of whom have donated their time, but in the end paid the ultimate price of sacrificing their lives just to provide aid. We want to acknowledge all those that are tirelessly struggling to keep the Palestinians alive, but they cannot do much more without our help. Comrades, talk is cheap without action, and we have to take drastic measures in their favor. We know that despite the loss of your dear friend and brother, May Sarah, you will, Dr. Gilbert, continue with relief effort in Gaza and continue bringing hope to the people of Gaza and all over occupied Palestine. With each passing day, we continue to support the struggle for a free Palestine. And this event is a practical demonstration of that. Nearly six weeks into the war on Gaza, we are, and we see that the bombardment and the siege on Gaza proceeds unabated. The death toll now stands just under 13,000 people and more than 27,000 injured. And the number of displaced now stands at 1.6 million persons since the 7th of October, 2023, whilst thousands are under the rubble. Of those killed, about 41% are children and 25% are women. On average, one child is killed and two are injured 
every 10 minutes during these massacres, which are turning Gaza into a graveyard for children, according to the UN Secretary General. Almost 200 medics and 102 United Nations staff, 41 journalists, frontline and human rights defenders have also been killed, while dozens of families over five generations have been wiped out. This is the sad reality we face, and this makes this fundraising effort so much more significant. We must continue to mobilize our communities, our towns, our cities, in our beloved country to bring the much needed relief. Our resistance fighters in Gaza and the occupied West Bank and along the borders of South Lebanon have demonstrated strong resistance from the Mujahideen. May Allah grant them victory as they fight for liberation of Gaza and all of occupied Palestine. <laughs> Comrades and friends, yesterday, along with the South African Friends of Palestine and 28 NGOs, we, said, we sent a strong message to the government of the Republic of South Africa that it is time for stronger and swift action in the face of the Zionist onslaught. We called on the ANC-led government to immediately expel the apartheid Israeli ambassador. We called on our ANC-led government to intensify our efforts to isolate apartheid Israel through a number of concrete actions. Comrades, our government has to show true commitment in what we seek. Every day, the national airline of the Zionist apartheid state of Israel, El Al, flies into the Republic of South Africa. It is enabled to do so by the Department of Transport, by giving them FOPs, that is flight operating permits. We call on the ANC government if it is truly on the right side of history and stands with the Palestinian brothers and sisters, it must immediately revoke those FOPs and do not allow and do not allow the Zionist apartheid state of Israel airline El Al into the Republic. As I said. Talk is cheap, it is time for action. This must include, comrades and friends, the intensifying of the boycott, divestment and sanctions BDS campaign so that none of us buys any products from apartheid Israel and its illegal settlements. And because I am here in Durban with this beautiful pot we have here, I want to call on our dog workers here in Durban to emulate the San Francisco Bay dog workers that refused to handle apartheid fresh produce from the Republic of South Africa. Today, I call on you, Debenites and people of Etegwedi, to ensure that our dock workers refuse to handle any ship coming into Deben with fresh produce from the Zionist apartheid state of Israel.
Comrades and friends, we also call for the prosecution of all South Africans fighting in the IDF. <laughs> fighting in the IDF in violation of international law and the Foreign Military Assistance Act 15 of 1998. We cannot allow South Africans to kill innocent children and maim so many. It has been appalling to sit and watch South Africans from Cape Town who have schooled at Hercilia School, which has publicly stated that 20% of its graduates go and serve in the IDF. We therefore want to call on the Minister of Basic Education, Nji Mutsekha, to look into that school and hold the principal accountable. <laughs> we call on the Minister of Defense to likewise ensure that through the Foreign Military Assistance Act, these South Africans are prosecuted and held accountable. <laughs> Comrades, it is easy to stand on platforms and say we stand with Gaza and people all over occupied Palestine. But talk is cheap. It is time for action. And we call on our government to act. We call on an immediate embargo on arms sales and cutting all trade, cultural exchange, and sports and other bilateral relations. We also call on the general public to use all platforms of social media to continue raising awareness in the world about the genocide crimes against humanity, ethnic cleansing in Gaza, and all of occupied Palestine. Comrades, during our own struggle for liberation, we were able, through South Africans living in exile, and our artists in particular, like Miriam Makeba, Huma Segela, were able to carry the message across into the international community. We're able to ensure that our stories were heard in the global community. We therefore want a South Africa to share that experience with Palestinians in the diaspora. There are 6 million, South, uh, 6 million Palestinians in the diaspora, and we call on them to be ambassadors of their own struggle for liberation and ensure that all the atrocities meted on a daily basis against Palestinians find themselves on social media. Comrades and friends, last weekend we witnessed millions of people around the world joining in protest against the Zionist occupation. In every city of the world, people marched to demand an end to the genocide. We want to repeat our call to the International Criminal Court to charge and arrest Netanyahu and the war criminals in his cabinet. They must be held accountable for their actions and face the full might of the law. Their hands are stained with the blood of innocent children. Comrades and friends, we will continue to mobilize support for the Palestinian struggle and we will stand with them just as they stood by us during the long and bitter years of our struggle for liberation against a brutal apartheid regime right here on our shores in South Africa. We gather this evening on the third 
of now we gather this evening, comrades and friends, to put a notice to all of you here in Deben and Etegwini that on the 3rd to the 5th of December, we will be hosting the 5th Global Convention of Solidarity with Palestine, which is entitled Nelson Mandela and Palestine, Confronting Racism Till Liberation. This conference, comrades and friends, has been agreed with, with uh, the Palestinians in the diaspora based in Lebanon in the refugee camps, an NGO called the Global Call for the Return to Palestine, which I am a proud ambassador for. And in commemorating the 10th year anniversary of the passing of our global icon and the founding father of our nascent democracy, we have decided to bring 150 Palestinians from Gaza, from occupied Palestine, and in the diaspora to come to our shores for this conference. On the 3rd and 4th of December, the conference will be held at Kurduba Convention, and we call on all NGOs, CBOs, political parties, all unions and worker formations, religious and faith formations, to ensure that you register for this conference. And I am reachable on my email for any information, which is chiefmandela at gmail.com. One word, chiefmandela at gmail.com. This conference will conclude with the National March on the 5th of December, on the day that our global icon passed on. We will be marching to the union buildings to hand over a resolution of the conference. We will be sending comrades and friends two trains from Cape Town to Johannesburg to enable our comrades in the Western Cape to be able to get to the uh, uh, march on the 5th. We therefore call on all of you here in Deben and Teguini to mobilize and ensure that all political parties, unions, and worker formations, religious and faith-based formations, NGOs and CBOs are enabled to come in their numbers in support of the people of Gaza and tell the world that we will stand with Palestine until freedom dawns. We will not stop until all of occupied Palestine is liberated and Palestinians are free to exercise their right to self-determination. Forward to a free Palestine, forward. Forward to a free Palestine, forward. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. My boo, yeah. My boo, yeah. Thank you, Shukran, comrades and friends.